Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video, we're going to have a look at how to get Google Pay working on a custom ROM or on a rooted device. Now, as you know, and if you are not new to my channel, I use a lot of custom ROMs and a lot of you do as well. That is the reason you're subscribed to this particular channel. So there is no way till now, you know, there used to be a situation wherein if you install a custom ROM, Google Pay will not work. Uh, UPI apps like phone pay will not work net banking apps will not work so if you're rooted of or if you're not rooted this method should work for you because I'm using the latest Majesk and Google pay works just fine there are just a couple of things that you need to do somebody commented in my poll that uh, you need to use Majesk 19.1 and just use Majesk hide yes that does work but most of the time that doesn't even work so let's quickly have a look at a few basic things that you need to ensure how to get it working and before we do that if you have already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's begin All right, guys, so welcome to another video. Now, as you can already see, I'm running a custom ROM, which is going to be reviewed next. That is basically CR Droid. Everything is customized and stuff. And you will see that I do have Majisk installed over here as well. So the first thing that I would recommend you to check if you have Majisk installed is to check safety net. Now, what this ensures is this has to ensure that CTS profile is true because Google checks that and that defines the integrity of your device for Google Pay. Now, in case this is coming up as fail, what you will have to do is you will have to go for a module called Magisk Hide Props. So if you go to download and just type props over here. So this is the one Majisk Hide Props config and there are a lot of things that you'll have to do basically to get the CTS profile right. Uh, so just go through it and uh, follow the instructions and use the fingerprint scanner that should allow you to take care of that problem. And at the same time, if you have Majisk, so whether or not you're using Google Pay or not, the first thing that I would recommend and as someone rightly mentioned in my comments as well is use Majisk Hide. Even if you're not having a problem, use Majisk Hide because there is real money that is involved. And uh, by using Majisk Hide, you will go ahead and you know ensure that your data is safe and there is no problem. There is a reason apps don't really work on a rooted or a custom phone because the data is not secure and uh, your banking information might be leaked and stuff like that. So use Majisk Hide for things like Beam UPI and then we'll search for Google Pay. So we'll hide it for Google Pay. Now what you need to do next is tap these three dots, show system apps. And I also use Majisk Hide for Android services library. So let's go ahead and enable it for that. Google services framework. So once you've used Majisk Hide for all of these, you are good to go but at times so if you see my google pay is already working and once i get this working i have actually gone ahead and uninstalled and reinstalled it uninstalled root and even after that it is working just fine as you can see over here gpay is working my hdfc net banking is working and beam upi phone pay phone pay is working as well so all of you you ha who had a problem but what to do next now there is a process wherein you had to verify and you have to get a otp and stuff and at times after doing all these steps as well you will not get a otp so in that scenario what you need to do is just disable one permission which is known as play services so go to settings now this has been tested on android 8.0 8.1 and android 9.0 pi now once you go to settings you will have to go to apps and notifications or apps there you go and then go to all apps and look for Google Play services. There you go. And go to permissions. Over here, you just have to disable telephone. Deny anyway. And then go ahead and verify Google Pay. It will work just fine. Now for me, it is already set up. I did try to uninstall, reinstall it and recreate the scenario wherein it will give me an error that you are on a custom ROM. But for some reason, even after reinstalling root, even after 
you know re-enabling and disabling all the permissions it didn't really give me that error but what i would say is after using magisk hide for these many applications and disabling that permission if you go ahead and verify your google pay on this particular device or any android phone which has a custom rom you should be good to go it will work just fine and in case it doesn't let me know in the comment section but for now what i would say is this is a very very easy and quick fix and once you've done verifying your Google Pay or Phone Pay or any UPI app for that matter, you can actually go back to settings, apps and notifications and you can go ahead and re-enable the telephone permission because after that it doesn't really really make any difference. So let me know in the comment section if this worked for you or not because for me it has worked on almost all the custom ROMs and the next few videos are going to be very exciting because we are going to review CR Droid, we are going to make a video on how to install a beta ROM on the Xiaomi Pocophone F1. But for now, this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Until the next one, keep smiling, take care, peace.